All right, Menorca Navy, we got something special for you guys today. Come along with us as we are gonna show you a little black water diving in the Frederica River and this activity. And then we just happened to come upon this today. This was going on right out in front of our marina on St. Simons. And this crew were down in the water. We're gonna give you a little, a little quick glimpse of what they were looking for and some of the stuff they found. We got more coming. These guys were down in the water. And when we say black water, when you get in this water um, here, you can't really see more than an inch or two in front of your face. It's very dark, um, really no light penetration. These guys are probably diving maybe 40, 45 feet of water. Really hard to see them. They were very well equipped and obviously very skilled. These guys um, had done this a, a time or two, but we met Captain Ben, Greg, and Jarrett today on their Parker, their 25 foot walk around. And these guys have a very interesting hobby of going into this black water in this, in this area. And not just St. Simons, they kind of work the region and they go into these areas and they look around for artifacts and fossils and just stuff that's really neat down on the bottom of the seabed here in the rivers. And the stuff they found today was, was really, really neat. But we had the drone up, kind of watching the operation. Um, they would move into an area do a little bit of, uh, look like exploratory diving, and then they would throw a marker out, and they would have uh, a couple of these guys down at a time, working the bottom and picking up stuff. And you can kind of see right here just where they were, or just right off of the St. Simons Marina. They were just right there, finding all kinds of interesting things. But here we see them uh, uh, working that marker, uh, this buoy line attached to an anchor, and they found an area that they needed to pay attention to. They put this out so they knew where they were. They're very well organized, and it was just really neat watching these guys today. You can see some of the stuff that they'll be pulling up. Here they're, they're cleaning an old bottle that they found. And these bottles were like hand-blown glass. Uh, very old. Uh, you could just look at it and tell there was, just by the imperfections in the glass and things like that, these were, were, were very old. And they found uh, quite a few. They just kind of pay attention to the video and look at these things. And we'll talk about more of some of the stuff they find. Uh, towards the end of the video uh, as, as we get a closer look at some of these um, objects and artifacts. You can really get an idea of looking at the diver in the water here, just how quickly the visibility goes. You can just see a, a few inches under the water of his arm and, and equipment. It's just it's just so much sediment in the water here that it, it quickly gets dark and um, thus the black water diving.
watch this as he starts to bring out some of the stuff and lay it out. Those triangles, those are shark's teeth. Those are megalodon shark's teeth that he's found right down in the river. And look at the size of those things. They're big as his hand. Big shark's teeth. And they found uh, quite a few of these things today. Okay, now here we go. We're going to get a look at some of the stuff here. In the bucket here, um, old bottle. The big piece, that's a piece of whale vertebrae, uh, fossilized whale bone. Uh, different kinds of fossils that are in there. Uh, they, uh, an old bottle here. This was an old bourbon bottle that they found down in the water. Uh, again, about 45 feet deep. Most of these bottles are just filled up with sediment. This was very interesting. This is, um, appears to be a, a fossilized uh, sperm whale tooth. Pretty rare find. You can see the end of it there by his thumb that was, was almost cupped out like that. Uh, where it had been maybe needing another tooth. And then they found some shark's teeth today out there. Uh, and the, the sediment here in this water uh, lends to just over the years of absorbing that material to make them real dark. And here's just a little collection of shark's teeth, or megalodon teeth, if you will. And those are on a two by six board on a bench to kind of give you an idea of just how big those teeth were. Really big stuff. Hey, we're glad to have had you guys along today. I hope you enjoyed today. We're going to ask, if you haven't done it, click on that subscribe button. But most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.